Hey, this is the Astrophene. I'm back doing another one of my bulk astrology podcasts and feeding off the lockdown energy and, you know, the Gemini crackhead energy. Today, after my sixth podcast, like I decided I'm tired and I need to sleep. Because, I don't know, for the past couple of days, I was working on my astrology song, my astrology songs, videos, lyric videos. And it's like a very tedious process, especially since I'm using PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint. My computer is pretty old, but I love it. I had an older computer before. And it's old, but I love it, and I love it, and it works for me. But the process of um, turning a PowerPoint into an exported video is like a long process. It takes very long. So, like, I've just been doing that, pounding them out and putting it, uploading it to YouTube, which is much faster. And I don't know why I'm explaining that, but yeah like I guess this could be like a part three of like more on like my astrology origins story my astrology origins story like how I got into astrology and why like I'm so interested in astrology and I wasn't gonna do anything like this because like one like I thought I already like finished I thought I already like finished it but like I'm just like thinking about things and just like realizing things and like too like some of the things I do want to talk about is like kind of personal in a way and you know like yes I'm putting everything out there like that and I'm not going to put everything out there like that because, again, like I mentioned, we're, the internet has taught me that we're all some nosy-ass bitches. Myself included. Like, we're nosy as hell. But, you know, this parent, which a lot of people equate to, like, being authentic. And sometimes transparency is, like, not a good thing. Like, again, like, there's this social media tr- random. But there's this, like, social media, like, sort of trap. Like, with quote-unquote a sort of trap. Like, with quote-unquote relatability, authenticness, realness, or whatever you want to call it. Like, it could be, like, a trap because, like, one thing about, like, my, like, my generation, which is Pluto and Scorpio, generations, like, you know how, like, they do, like, Generation Z, Generation X, and all that? I don't give a fuck about that. Like, whenever I think about someone's age and, like, what year they're born and, like, their experiences, I always relate it back to astrology generations. Like, when I think of, like, a certain... Like, when I think of, like, a certain celebrity or whatever, like... I relate it back to astrology generations because honestly, astrology generations make more sense than I guess the regular generations. Because with the regular, let me give an example for baby boomers. It's like it. It's weird because it's like one of the biggest and largest like generations. I think it like spans like 15, 20 years. And like, and like, typical like astrology generations are like ten years. Like, I just find that kind of weird. Cause baby boomers, hold on, I, I have to Google this because it bothers me. It's between nineteen forty four and nineteen sixty four. That's twenty years. Like, these people cannot be a part of the same generation for 20 years. That's just, like, ridiculous. So the first baby boomer is 19 years older than the last? That's just, like, crazy. 
is 19 years older than the last. That's just like crazy. And baby boomers correspond to Pluto and Leo and Pluto and Virgo. And let me tell you something, like Pluto and Leo and Pluto and Virgo are like different energies. Like I could see the differences, like interacting with people, with people that are Pluto and Leo and Pluto, Pluto and Virgo. Like it's just crazy to me. And like even like the Pluto and Sag- Sagittarius generation, they're fucking crazy. And you know what? I should kind of refrain from cursing. I just can't help it. It's just like such. I just can't help it. It's just like such. It's a taboo for me, but a fun taboo. But whatever. Um. But yeah, even the Pluto and like Sagittarius generation is like they're like different from like our like my generation. Me like they seem like more wilder and freer and. They have a I don't give a fuck energy. And like yes, Pluto and Scorpio like generation, like their energy is could be like similar in some ways. Like the I don't give a fuck part wild. But it's much deeper, much more psychological and it's a, it's a heavy energy. I'll say that. It's like a very like heavy energy. And like when I interact with like Pluto and Sagittarius people I don't know they're I don't know it's also because they're younger so like experience turns you into a cynic well not all the time sometimes it's the opposite but whatever but like I don't know like all these like new age rappers that are out like they're just on some different like different type of energy but what my point different type of energy but what my point is is that with authentic authenticity and transparency in the social media world it's just like a as i said a trap pluto and scorpio like we're like one of the first like generations to be like to have their adulthood in in the internet for the world to see and that's not a good thing it's a trap like like and you see now with all this political correctness everything being exposed and like as someone from the pluto and scorpio generation it's okay to have privacy yes we've grown up like with myspace and like nebo and skullnix who remembers skullnix Skullnix, by the way that was the shit back in the day. But with all these like social things and thing, I just find it so crazy how I remember when I was a kid, like really young before like social media was a thing. Like, don't put your information out on the internet. Don't put your name out. Don't give anyone your name. Now like it's just like given freely. And like, it's okay to be, ha- to have some discretion and some privacy you don't need to put everything out there like that and if you're going through something traumatic you don't need to immediately go on the internet or immediately go and share it like it bothers me and like i also feel that some people feel entitled to your life once you start sharing things about your life they feel entitled like and you know you gotta you gotta put a boundary like between that like, like, you gotta put some type of boundaries between that. Like, I would say, like, honestly, this is kind of rad- radical, but honestly, privacy is dead and has been dead. But I would say just to, like, try to be as private as you can be. I'm saying that to myself, too, because, I don't know, like... Anyways, to get to, like, my main point or whatever, I guess my astrology origin story, I mean, I already said what I said in, like, my previous, like, podcast that I recorded, but I've been into astrology for over 10 years. I got seriously into it in college, and, yeah, that's where it, like, really took off in 2013. 13 I started writing online 
on her line, on her pages. And then I did a Tumblr blog that lasted for a whole entire day. And I only made six posts. <laughs> and they were like minutes after each other. And I find that like extremely funny. And I find that like extremely funny. I mean, I talked about it in my previous like podcast. If you want to listen, go ahead, whatever. But um, this that what got me kind of thinking about like more of my astrology origins and how I became the astro fiend. And today I was actually um looking at um one of my draft posts which like made me kind of remember some because after the tumblr blog well I I don't even know one day blog one day old blog even though it's been years I, I, I call it it started in 2013 but it's a one it's like a, a seven year old one day blog like literally I just posted for one day six posts in one day and I just find that so hilarious it makes me laugh (laughs) it really makes me laugh but um yeah and I started the astrophene in 2014 but all the steps leading up to it was just like a collection of just like um and I think like that's important to like if you care because I don't know who cares I mean people care but it's because they're nosy like it is what it is we're all freaking nosy and people that say that they don't care and they're not nosy they're lying we're all fucking nosy and people that say that they don't care and they're not nosy they're lying we're all fucking nosy like if we have some tea or some information about someone we want to hear it that doesn't mean that everyone's gossip i don't agree with that like not everyone gossips but you know if you hear something you'll be like oh oh shit man you know like if you ever like walk walk somewhere like in public well not anymore but not now at least but you walk somewhere public and you hear like a a personal conversation it like makes you feel uncomfortable because like why are you like saying this all like you know in a public space public space but at the same time you like be like oh okay let me what 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 you just like can't help it but like want to like hear more Especially if it's interesting. If it's, like, boring, you're, like, whatever. Like, you should do that at home or somewhere more private. But, um... Wait. What was my... Ugh, I keep losing my train of thought. Ugh. But, um... Yeah, so... I started that one-day-old astrology Tumblr blog because... It was for... It was, it was related to, um, school... And oh, this is like such a rent. Oh, okay. Just to give you before, like the study in abroad and for the before the one day old Tumblr blog, I uh, I had a really like shitty like year in school, like in college. I had a really shitty year. I was angry, like, my body had been through, like, some random-ass trauma, through, like, some random-ass trauma, and I had a cunt that was, like, fucking with me, and I was like, I was like, I'm over this shit, I don't want to be here next year, fuck that, I'm out of here, and that's what I did, like, I studied abroad after the next semester and I was like I'm over it and yeah I would say that like my college experience was terrible well not terrible I just it was just terrible like it was just terrible like it wasn't like it wasn't what I pictured what I imagined I was in a new environment which wasn't in itself bad but just like the people around me 
like they weren't toxic or anything but they were just like so different from how like I lived and how I am if that makes any sense like I couldn't really relate to the people around me and there's like a lot of fakeness and all that shit and random but like I I don't drink like I don't mind going to the club and and, 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 you know like dancing and like I love that shit but I don't like drink like at all I've never drank before I don't plan on drinking maybe when I'm in my like 40s or 50s I'll just like start drinking wine but not anytime soon like I'm not a drinker at all and you know like college environment drinking like clubbing which isn't bad at all and just like you know that sort of life I wasn't like that I don't know that just wasn't like what I was interested in if that makes anything any sense honestly I think anything any sense honestly I thought college would be a mixture of Hogwarts and a different world I know cringy but that's what I thought my college experience would be like a mixture in a different world and I was highly 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 disappointed and yeah so I was like at a terrible year so I decided you know what I'm just gonna study abroad fuck all fuck my college fuck everything fuck everyone and I lived my lived my life let me just say that I lived my life for like one of the first times in my adulthood I lived my life and it was one of the best experiences like ever and then you know I was so happy I was so elated like traveling is like it's expensive but it's like so worth it and honestly God made a path for me which is just like crazy because um when I first got there when I first got there Cause um, cause um, for some reason, like I got a visa, but the visa didn't allow me to work, which was a stupid decision, by the way. So like I got there and I was sad. When I first got there, I was happy, but I was kind of sad. I didn't have any money for like um, for like um, you know you know living and you know how like the US dollar is compared to like the euro and all that other crap but um yeah so I was like kind of sad and broke but then like like I found out that I was awarded I think it was a little bit before that like a couple months before that I don't remember but I was awarded a scholarship Cause previously when I was going through like all this, going through like all this shit saying fuck school, fuck my college and all that, I had, um, you know, just like filled out like a, a scholarship, like wrote a scholarship essay because the study abroad school, they were like providing like, you know, scholarship, they were like providing like, you know, scholarship, I guess, um, contest or whatever and you get rewarded some money if like they like what you had to say and I did the essay I didn't think anything about it a couple months later I'm just like minding my business excited about solo for the first time and I remember just like going there and just like saying oh I'm broke so I won't be able to do like go to places and do things and then my scholarship money came in and I was just like, mm, God laid out, like, God wanted me, like, it's not every day you, like, win a scholarship, and that scholarship allowed me to, like, go to different, like, places, it allowed me to, to like, pay some bills, and to pay for, like, tuition, like, it was just, like, a beautiful experience, but, but when I was there, like, I just remembered this, by the way, it's 20 minutes long. I don't want this to be long. But when I was there, like, I really started 
doing more like more research into astrology because one thing I saw you brought in Europe by the way there's so much things that are related to the zodiac and to mythology and all that stuff and I mean in college I was always into astrology always researching but I used to see it everywhere so searching but I used to see it everywhere so that was like keep going in the back of my mind so I was like you know for like one of my final projects for one of my classes I just say I decided hey I'm gonna use astrology to compare compare the US versus the country that I studied abroad in well I'm gonna compare the two I'm gonna compare the two and like when I presented it to um, my professor, she didn't get it at all. And she was like shooting everything down. Cause I was just like, she doesn't understand, so whatever. And I just left it at that. And I think that kind of played a role into why like, I was so angry and why I just like wanted to express myself and start the astro theme. And fast forward, and you know, after you come home from a trip and you've been gone for a while you just feel good you just feel inspired and you just like you know you feel happy you just feel happy to do something you always wanted to do and it's just like an an amazing like sort of feeling an amazing like sort of feeling and quickly like the happiness like turned into like reality well, not necessarily reality, but like, you know, kind of like the not so great parts about like reality and came in because I was all so inspired. I was so happy. And then reality set in. I was just like, oh, my gosh, I did something I always wanted to do. And now I'm just like here. I'm here in this place. So that's where like. I'm here in this place so that's where like a lot of like my anger like came in because I was I guess it was disappointment maybe disillusionment I don't know but just like disappointment like I did something so amazing and then now I'm back in the real world and you know it's just angry and yeah it's just like just angry and that's like part of like why like I really like started I really like started getting into getting into writing about astrology and not only part of anger too was like a power a sense of powerlessness and wanting to like get some myself feel better because honestly like reading like my early posts like I did it to make myself feel about be- feel better like writing like when I like look at the articles like the blogs especially why your sign ain't shit and so, so especially why your sign ain't shit and so, so celebrity archetype why you're a celebrity archetype ain't shit something like that i was just thinking like this is funny well to me i don't know what people some people are like are really offended they hate they hate it but i just wanted to come up with the most outrageous things and the most shocking like things to like make to make myself like laugh and every time like i read it i just like laugh where I giggle to myself or it makes me smile giggle to myself or it makes me smile and you know I kind of like have like I won't say dark dark humor there's some things I won't joke about but I have like semi-dark humor so like something fucked up will like make me want to laugh yeah a funeral or like a church service or something serious and you just want to laugh because everything is so serious. 
it's just like this weird energy where you want to smile or laugh because everyone's just like so serious i don't know that's a weird thing but okay 25 you don't want to do no 45 minute whatever but yeah so just like really just anger that was like the main thing just anger and just to say that um also i have like blog posts drafts not blog posts blog drafts for at least three years that i haven't like put out because i'm nervous about putting them out because i'll because I'm nervous about putting them out because again it's personal and you know it's three years old so some of the views are not there anymore but you know what I'm just gonna put it out because it's all about healing like it can't take like 20 years to heal like healing doesn't have like a time if that makes any sense. But yeah, that's the story. And I want to talk about more things. And I want to talk about more things. But this is almost 30 minutes. And I'm like, I'm like, who's going to hear this? I mean, does it even matter? Because I'm literally just talking to myself. So you know what? I'm hearing this. Maybe my future self is hearing this. And my past self has heard this already. And she's glad that I'm putting it out there more. And she's like, yeah, you should have been do that three years ago, dumbass. And like, and, and my present self is like, girl, who you calling a bitch? If you're... Okay, I'm probably going to record another one after this.